pussy screaming run There ain't no faking, I'ma knock that nigga till he sung But all I know is I don't boo, so don't try to lift your gun Nah, this that step or shit or two, we left them niggas done Lately I've been lurking, these L smoking the off I fucked his sister, now he tripping, his family giving a drop Clutching pistols, swerving lanes, and a high speed chase with the cop I don't rest them out, ain't ready to wipe a nigga tomorrow yeah. Alright, so let's talk, man, tell me your story Tell me your story, tell me your story. What's going on, man? It's your man, True. We here with another official interview. Uh, we getting in, man. Say your name, bro, to the people. It's Ray Too Low, niggas already know. My dog, my dog. I appreciate you being here, bro. How you feeling today? I'm good. I'm real good. Man, yeah. Man. I've been asking everybody, you know what I mean? It's, it's 2020, you know what I mean? It's a new year. You the type of dude that, that have like 2020 New Year's resolutions or you just keep it moving, you just keep it pushing? No. Type of, yeah, keep it pushing, but no, I do get my new times where I gotta redevelop new skills, see what's going on, try to escalate, and grow, not try to worry about too much going on with other people, with other things. I just stay to myself and grind. Most definitely, yes, definitely sir. Gotta, gotta set those goals for yourself, man. Yeah. So, so you a musician? You a rapper, man? You from Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh. What, what, part, of, what part of Pittsburgh you from? From Homewood, but. Um, I grew up around Arlington, 3200. My man, my man, yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with those areas. Definitely, definitely wild, wild areas, tough neighborhoods to grow up in. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So talk to the people a little bit about like what it was like growing up for you in Pittsburgh, because you're a young dude, you know what I mean? Let them know what it was like. It's like a whole bunch of, I mean, goofiness going on around here. A lot of people don't understand, I mean, until people be gone and stuff, but no, like we can't even think like that. I got people who just gotta get back on a right task and start doing what they gotta do instead of worrying about the next person. Truth. Definitely, I feel like that's that's what the problem with Pittsburgh, man. Everybody worried about what the next person yeah. got going on and too much beef, man. We could we could really take it to the next level. If we, Truth. You know what I mean, if yeah. It sounds cliche, but if we work together and we just be positive, man, you know what I mean? Because we got some talented artists out here. You know what I mean? So tell them about, uh, tell the people a little bit about your music, man. Like, what you, you're a rapper. Like, oh, yeah. what you, what's your style? Like, so, what you do? Yeah, so I'm a rapper, Pittsburgh. Um, I usually, I mean, I started from my uncles. My uncles was rapper, semi sound. Uh, cousin Ray Ruger started off rapping. They got me into it, and I was into it. I said, yeah, let me get on this, start rapping. Mm -hmm. Start putting lyrics together, rhymes together. Right. Next thing you know, I shot a vid, Blackout Productions. My man, Boy. My man. Uh, I mean, and then I just started fucking with music heavy. And then I got me a little record deal. I ain't take it though, I ain't take it though. But so we I, it's just progress to move up though, for we sure. We won't talk about that record deal, but when did you decide to, you know, start taking music serious? So when did you first start rapping? And then when did you decide to start taking music so serious? So when I dropped, when I recorded the song In My City, I mean, it turned into that song on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, that put like, that made me want to even go even harder. Everybody was fucking with it. Right. I was getting feedback all over the city and stuff about it. Right. Yeah, so, that's, so, the, so the love that you got back yeah. in the city was like, all right, maybe I could take this music seriously. Maybe yeah. I can really do this. Yeah. Okay. That's dope, man. That's dope, man. Yeah. And then Pittsburgh is a hard city to get love and man. They tough. You know what I mean? Right. So, so that could definitely fuel you and motivate you to, you know what I mean, want to be consistent and keep going, keep going hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. I appreciate that. I think that's dope. So what's your style like when you're in the studio? You like the, you know what I mean? You freestyle, you like to write your music. See, you know what I mean, you smoke, you drink, what's your style yeah, like? So I smoke a little bit, mm -hmm. I mean, put my headphones on, move with the beat, freestyle, I got shit written before I come in here. Right. Just so you gotta... Come in plan, you come in with your game plan, yeah. you already know what you're trying to do. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. Yeah, you don't want to be in there taking up all day, you know what I mean, you want to... Unless you're a dope freestyler, you know what I mean? Right, I, right. I, I recommend coming in there with your stuff already written down, yeah. planned out. You know what I mean? You don't want to waste no time, especially when you pay for studio time. So, right. Yeah. I, mean, I feel you. Time is money. Yeah. Real tough. So, um, what's your style like? What's your, the people that never heard you, what would you, if you had to compare yourself right. to an artist that's already, you know what I mean, I, out there, what you feel like your style is? I, I can't really say I could compare myself to, like, any industry people or anything, right. but, like, my style, myself, 
I try to do as much as I could. I can switch it up a little bit. If you want me to do some R and B, I'll do some R and B. Okay. Want me uh, some trap? Yeah, I'm on the trap. Cause like that's all I grew up around was trap, rap. Like I could rap. Like we just rapping. So what type of music? Like who's your musical influences? Like who you say you listening to on the regular? Like, you know what I mean? Like, who you listen to a lot growing up that influenced you to really start taking music seriously? So like. I want to say, like, if you want, like around here, Pittsburgh rappers, I want to say Dave Coles, uh, like uh, Sideshow, a lot of couple, a couple other people. Um, but working with my group, those definitely one of them. Yeah. Working with your group. Yeah, working with my group. They influence Too you. Low. You keep going hard. Yeah. So talk definitely. to talk to us about your group. Like, what's the what's the name of your group? Right, so all in I your got group? the group is Too Low. Too Low be the gang. That be the group. Mm -hmm. More like a family. Right. Like, they are my brothers, Quattro and B Quattro. Right. Splashy D. Uh, real bands. Like people like them. They all. They all. I mean, the rappers out of the group. We just try to make sure we we keeping our group on the same page and stuff. We get into the right things. I mean, not worried about too much of who's behind our back or anything like that. But yeah, right, we, just focused on you. Know what I mean, I got a game plan. Y'all focus. Yeah, you know, we on support. that. Yeah. So we was talking a little bit off camera. You know what I mean? I, it's, today's your birthday. You know what I mean? I told you happy birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean, and um, I was talking about your fit, man. Your fit, your dope fit. I look like a yeah. nice fit. So um, talk to him a little bit about um. You said you got a clothing line, you know what I mean? So talk to people a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is this is Cashflow Clothing Worldwide, High Talent Studios. I'm a part of High Talent Studios. That's my my artistic group. I got my microphones and stuff on me. My sister painted this outfit for me. High Talent Studios. I don't know if y'all see that. I mean, one on one customs. Uh, basically, we just a group of three, group of probably three to five people. We all got our own individual clothing line, but we collabed them to one big group called High Talent Studios. It's Cash Flow Clothing, Edge Life, uh, Local Plague, and High Talent. We um we got uh some shows coming up soon. We try and get some stuff together and see what we got going on. Yeah. We getting back into the and the movement, and yeah, we're gonna be at the top real soon. That's important, man. Salute to y'all on doing that. It's like coming together as a collective. You know what I mean? Working together and make something big, man. Right. I, that's dope. I, I commend y'all on that, man. Yeah. That's important because it's hard to come together. Don't nobody really want to work together. Everybody trying to, they we fighting for crumbs over here. You know what I mean? When yeah. We, we get together, we can get a bigger bag. So right. That's dope that y'all doing that, man. Keep, keep at that and keep working, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? For real. So um, so what you got in the works right now, man? You got mixtapes coming out. You got the clothing line going on. You know what I mean? They know about that. So what you got music wise? You got mixtape. You got uh. music videos out. Yeah, I got a couple music videos out. Um, we shoot music videos too, but uh, I just dropped okay. a, a, a vid. It's called uh, Fallen Soldiers. So tune into it. It's about all my Fallen Soldiers. Dope, um, dope. Yeah. Uh, you found it out? Who's paying it's, it's on Tulo Music, Tulo, mm -hmm. M U Z I C C C music page on YouTube. Right. You can shout go tune in. Shout out, shout out by um, Latika and How Time One Studios. Okay. Yeah. So over in um Brela? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's your people's? Mm hmm You related to That's me? my sis. That's yeah. not like my real people's, but yeah, that's Oh my, yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's what's up, man. Yeah. yeah. My people's, yeah. They cool, man. Good good people. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So you got the music what other music videos you got out? I got uh in my city. Uh, I got. Uh, that was the one that you said got the buzz going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I shot that over in uh around like October okay. this year, and dropped it. Who shot that video? Blackout Production shot that vid. Shout out Blackout. Shout man. out Blackout. Yeah. Pittsburgh man, we, we got we got so many dope artists, videographers, photographers. Man, this city's crazy. Producers. So we definitely on the map when when it comes to you know what I mean with dope artists. You know what I mean, so um, we're in the studio right now. You know what I mean? What studio we at? We at uh, seventeen oh eight. Yeah, it's a nice studio. Yeah, well, I heard about this spot. Shout out Turner. Shout yeah, out Turner, turn, turn me actually. up. I mean, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. They got a nice setup here. So what you in here doing right now? You got the gang in here. You got the squad in here. You know what I mean? So what y'all yeah, working on? It's my old family members. This is Shondo, you know, rapper. 
Uh, Jay bro. over there, bro. And it's a little Maury. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't just vibing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I walked in. You was you was in the booth when I walked in. You yeah. Was in. What's the What's the name of that song that you was working yeah, on? Yeah, that that's uh, that's um, what is that called? What, what, what we call that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Stepper Shit Part Two. Right. I dropped Part One on YouTube. Well, it ain't no diss, none of that. But yeah. that's that's how it is. That's yeah, Stepper Shit Part Two. It's some real too low stuff. Right. So talk to the people a little bit about we're gonna talk about Pittsburgh a little bit, man, before we before we wrap this up. Um what you what you feel about uh Pittsburgh music? You know, how do you feel about the where Pittsburgh music is going right now or music scene? I think it's going good, man. Everybody on if everybody keep up on the same page, I wish people would try to come together and you know, do decent for real for real. Right. We would definitely make it happen there. Cause we definitely got a lot of talent and potential for mm -hmm. surely, definitely. Like, I see a lot of upcoming people like Shami and uh, who else? Who else? A little Sean Dud, a little um, what y'all call it? Finesse Bros, them little them little bros. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, a lot of dope young yeah, there's there's yeah, like I see a lot of people. I don't people don't really be noticing like Man Man Bay, um, uh, a couple other people. Yeah, so I think I feel the same way, bro. I feel like we definitely we got talent. Like I said before, you know what I mean. We just kind of it's all about being consistent, man. You know, so if we just stay consistent with it and keep dropping that heat. You know I mean, it's gonna take off. So you said you um you, you got offered a deal. So what, what was that about? You want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, I mean, it ain't too much special. I got a couple of little deals. It wasn't enough though. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm gonna just keep working from here. I'm gonna try to get somebody to get that up. Right. I want it ain't even all about the money, but it's about. I mean. So what they wasn't they wasn't offering you enough bread or yeah. like they was offering you like like you know what I mean? Can you talk they, about how the deal they, was structured or? I wasn't getting offered really too much of a manager role. I was getting offered like a, a go spend this money and uh, we'll try to get something to work out type of role. I, that's how I believe it. Right. That's how I looked at it as. So I just said fuck it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna just keep on working until one come to the plate that I really like. Right. And then we could yeah, work off of there. Right. Yeah. So what would you tell another artist that like get offered a, a deal? Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause this was like what, a, a label, in, like a Pittsburgh label or somebody? This was, indie? yeah, somebody out of town. Out uh, of right town? Now, yeah. Okay. So what would you tell an artist to look for, like, you know what I mean, if they get offered a deal? Uh, I would say, one, watch out for the fake ones. And then look at the real ones. Try to talk to a lawyer, see what's going on. Try to work something out so you can get some money. Not even just about the money, but get some yeah, ex experience and yeah, yeah, get on tours, do all that stuff like that with your label and stuff. Right. Just make sure you pick the right label. Right. Yeah. So, what's your plan? Is your plan to stay independent, keep doing the music like that, or is your plan to eventually sign to a, a, a major record label? Um, hopefully, eventually, I get the chance to sign to a record label right now. I'm just working with my group, High Talent, and then I'm working with my group, Too Low. So it's just like, we're basically trying to build stuff together as is, still figuring it out for real, for real. Right. Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. I think you're doing your thing, man, when it comes down to, you know what I mean, putting that work in yeah. and investing in yourself, man. So talk a little bit. We about to. I got a couple more questions, but talk to the people about investing in yourself, man. It seemed like you, you definitely yeah. Down that's to invest in, that's you know, one thing. Your craft and, you know what I mean. So tell the people why it's important to do that. Yeah, definitely. Make sure like have different skills, man. Don't just have like the same skills. Like I, I do multiple things. I, mm -hmm. I box. I fix cars. I work on clothes. I, I, I'd even, I don't, I do a lot of stuff. I'm a rapper. I know how to shoot music videos. I shoot videos for High Talent Studios. But just some things like, I know how to do dang near everything I do. So I just like go with it. Yeah. Just stick with, you know what I mean? Get some new skills and learn yeah. some different things yeah. for surely. I, I, that's dope. I feel like people be feel yeah. like they too, they get to an age, just, they just done learning. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like you're never too old to keep learning and keep bettering yourself, you know what I mean? Taking yourself to the next level, so I think that's important, man. Yeah. We got the, um, 
we're about to almost come to an end. Is there anything you wanna say before we, we, we wrap it up? Uh shout out shout out um all the thirty two hundred niggas. I mean uh rest in peace flock, rest in peace Tez, long live germ, long go off my fallen soldiers and all that dirt and it's way too low, niggas already know and I'm out. We out man. It's another true stories interview. I appreciate you, dog. Dope interview, man. Dope sure. interview. We out man. All right, so let's talk, man. Tell me your story. Tell me your story.